Well, 2019 is upon us, which means 12 months of new art to experience. And here with some not to miss recommendations are my three favorite art hounds. I'm calling you hounds. <laughs> we have arts and culture writer for Crosscut, Ms. Brangen Davis, and arts and culture writers, Jonathan Zwickle and Katie Kurtz. Hello, you three. Hi. And happy, happy New Year. So the assignment, of course, was to dig deep and uh, bring us a few art events that have captured your attention. We pulled straws. You pulled up short and you are first. first. So go, girl. Excellent. Okay, my first pick is yes. the Degenerate Art Ensemble. Mm -hmm. And that's a performance art group that's been a long time in Seattle, founded by Joshua Cole and Haruko Nishimura. Who's now going by Crow. I heard that. Yes. 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 Okay. So Crow Nishimura. Crow yeah. Nishimura. Yeah. Um, and so they do these wild performances with music and video and dance, and it's kind of Bjork meets Wild. Buto, yeah. 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 Um, and so they have a new one called Skeleton Flower, yes. um, and it's a little more autobiographical than their other shows. So it's, is it her story? Kind yes, of? it's okay. based on Crow's uh, childhood, which was difficult in places, mm -hmm. and um, and her story is how her creativity sort of helped her through these hard times. So she's blending that with three folk tales um, also in which uh, females find that creativity and imagination pulls them through um, difficulties. Um, and so, and as usual, you know, it has these incredible costumes and it's masks. It's just glorious, and, the imagery. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's unforgettable. Yeah, cutting yeah. edge. Yes, very, cutting edge. very much. Um, okay, and then the other one is also cutting edge. Mm -hmm. This is the Seattle Symphony's new space called Octave 9. I have not heard about this. Oh, Oh, good. No, okay. Yeah. 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 So this is um, it replaces the Soundbridge space, and it's this another fully immersive space. They've got um, this uh, 360 projection, so it's basically a holodeck. Mm -hmm. So they can make it look like wherever you want to be. And then this sound system that I don't understand, but it's called the Constellation, and it can make it mm -hmm. sound like you're anywhere you might be hearing a concert in Notre Dame or in a cute little coffee shop. Oh, so cool. to kick it off, they're doing this crazy 24-hour uh, contemporary classical music festival. So one performance an hour all night long. So you're spending Let's the night up. in yeah. there. Yeah. Is this in Royal? This is our yeah. Our night. Yeah. yeah. So oh, man, um, cool. I'm really excited for that. Are those tickets already uh, on sale? They go on sale in February. OK, great. OK, mm -hmm. got to keep an eye on that. All right, oh. very, very <laughs> nice. And pick it up, my well, dear. Well, uh, coming up at the end of January, the 25th and 26th, is the Timber Winter Music Festival. And that's Timber with uh, three okay. R's or four <laughs> R's, multiple <laughs> R's. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, it's the same folks that do the Timber Summer Music Festival. Festival, which happens out in Carnation, the Winter Festival is in Leavenworth. Of course it is. Of course, the <laughs> Bavarian town of Leavenworth. It's about two hours east of Seattle. Very authentic. Uh, and, uh, you know, actually a beautiful spot as far as the scenery goes, sure. uh, situated in the mountains out there. And uh, basically it's like a sort of a rock and roll festival that they plant in the middle of Leavenworth. Mm. So it's all night Friday night, um, and then all day Saturday, and then Saturday night as well. And during the day, they uh, plant music uh, around the beer halls and sausage <laughs> stands no, of left stores or whatever it is. So there's acoustic music and stuff that happens during the day, uh -huh. and then they take over the fest hall, it's called, at night, uh, which is this big sort of event space that's in downtown Leavenworth. Yeah. And uh, they set up a hot toddy garden, mm. uh, and then there's also, of course, like beer flowing, and then you know, band after band on stage, and it's mostly rock and roll and R and B and hip hop. Are and they that sort mostly of thing. local bands? So the headliner is a band called Shannon and the Clams. Yeah. That is uh, a garage rock band, super dancey, upbeat garage rock band from Oakland, California. Mm, okay. Um, and then Kyle Kraft uh, is a sub pop signed artist, I think, from LA. Um, and then aside from that, it's mostly, mostly local, local stuff. Mostly local names, right? Yeah. yeah. So you've got the True Loves, that's a sort of R&B retro soul band. Mm -hmm. They're doing a tribute to Aretha Franklin. I saw that. Oh, that's which gonna, I'm sure be is gonna be insane. awesome. Oh yeah. my God, yeah. Um, yeah. And then a band called Highways, that's sort of like cosmic country Americana. Um, another band called Spirit Award that plays this sort of motoric, oh. like rock and roll groove type stuff. And it's all really upbeat, yeah. it's, um, it's meant to be kind of a boozy affair. Yeah. Um, it's just a great way to spend a, a winter weekend, weekend. out yeah. of the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the other one is I'm is very excited. Yeah, yeah. so um, I, you might know the uh, modern American composer named Steve Reich. Yep. Um, uh, he actually spent some time in Seattle in the 70s studying gamelan music, which is oh. this sort of... Um, yeah very mellow style of percussion music. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 
So he incorporated that into various compositions that he's worked on throughout the decades, um, including one uh, that's called Music for 18 Musicians. One sort piece. Of spells it out. Right. Um, one piece that is about an hour long. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say that it, it, it doesn't sound like Yamala necessarily, but I think some of the theory that goes into the way those percussion pieces are composed, um, Reich integrated into this other modernist, um, minimalist piece of music. Mm -hmm. You know, I've listened to the piece, um, uh, you know, I've got it on vinyl, it's a beautiful piece of music. I think seeing it live, yeah. performed uh, at this place, 415 In Western, Westlake. yeah, it's a beautiful event space. Mm -hmm. And I think just being there while the music is happening is going to be just a gorgeous experience. By the way, when I saw that you were going to talk about it, I actually already got the tickets. So I oh, got nice. Tickets. Uh -huh. yeah, I will be there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, great. Excellent. And now great. you. Great. Yeah. Well, it sounds like immersive is the theme for Indeed. 2019. Indeed. 2019. Let's get uh, into it. I think a lot of people wanting to get out into the real world and mm -hmm. uh, into experiences. So uh, my pay, one of my picks is Sheridana. Sinatra, yes. say that five times fast, <laughs> uh, and her performative installation at the Fry Art Museum called Ditch. Yes. She will be creating an immersive environment, tons of colors, tons of textures. There will be a large scale Mom Donna sculpture of Sheridana. Mm -hmm. And just a little background on Sheridana, that is the alter ego persona of performer Jody Keener. Mm -hmm. She draws from contemporary dance, clowning, drag, and so all of these together, she's just brilliant in and, each and of so these. It's so funny, too. Yeah. Super funny. Yes. It's funny with like a little bit Pathos. of like a... Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, just even the way that her like mouth is painted is like, mm -hmm. is that a smile or a grimace or both? <laughs> um, so or she's... Scream. Yeah. 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 She'll be performing every day with her newly formed dance troupe called Donna. Mm -hmm. And her whole goal with it is to make everyone happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all and, for that. Yeah. Good I'll take it. Yeah, good yeah. Luck. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so throughout, so they'll be performing every day. The museum's open and uh, I think... It's definitely worth dropping by. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you got three... Emerging yes, in January, uh, in about a two block radius, there mm -hmm. are three shows, three different emerging artists. Uh, the first, Anthony White, mm -hmm. who I think it's kind of hard to not know who Anthony White is right now. Right. He's really blowing up. So he's having his first solo show. And what I really like about his work, so his it's not paintings. He does it in this uh, medium called polyactic acid. Yes. So it gives it this textured, kind of raised, glue-like material. It's almost like it's in a tube or kind of like, yeah. A, yeah, it's really very intricate. And I imagine very time consuming. Yes. Yeah. But I like how his, both the portraits and the still lifes kind of capture this in-betweenness mm -hmm. of like post-adolescence mm -hmm. and early adulthood where we're often, you know, during that time trying to secure our identity and a lot of it is through the material objects we surround ourselves by. Mm -hmm. And so his works all have like, are just stuffed with. Um, yeah, they're very full canvas. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Cameron? So Cameron Tulare, mm -hmm. she is a 20 year old, mostly self taught artist. Mm -hmm. She started a series on Instagram as part of this hashtag 100 heads, mm -hmm. which is a uh, Instagram challenge to do 100 portraits. And so her portraits are this kind of iridescent pastel uh, portraits of mostly her friends yeah. and I think other people that she's met online. And so this isn't just her first gallery show, but also her first solo show. Ever. Ever. So just completely knocking it out of the park. God, so. the power of Instagram. <laughs> that's oh. incredible. Wow. Definitely. So yeah. all 100 heads will be there. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So that that's will be great. great. And yeah. then rounding that out in the same kind of um, area is Brian Sanchez, mm -hmm. Idle Urge at Treason Gallery. And mm -hmm. Treason Gallery, they do mostly street art focused. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian Sanchez has done public murals and his work is mostly abstraction. So these will be abstract paintings. Mm -hmm. And abstract art has been around for a hundred years now, but when it first happened, when artists realized that oh, they sure. could do non-representational right, work, right. like it was so groundbreaking and yeah. it was so huge. And it's something that we take for granted a lot. Mm -hmm. So just to have a 
you know, artists re-looking at that and bringing a new vocabulary yeah. to what is now a century-old tradition. Right. You know, it's not even like everything you know, comes around. Exactly. Yeah, everything comes around. Yeah. So yeah. those those are a nice little grouping, and yeah. uh, definitely, I think artists to watch in the coming years. Well, great. So a cheers to art and to an outstanding 2019. Hey, Thanks yes. to all of you. Outstanding uh -oh. 2019. Coffee and water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It will be a good year. I promise. feel it right here. I yeah. promise. I know. I promise. We'll, we'll check back. We'll check back. Camera? <laughs> yes, it's on camera. <laughs>